Okay, we're going to use electric and to draw an inverter, start a library, uh, make a schematic cell, make another cell, make an icon, and uh, the next video after this will be to use these cells to connect to LTSpice and run simulations. First, start up electric. All right, electric started up in the explorer. We have a no name library. We're going to make a new library. Call it white inverters. And there we go. I'm going to close this no name library just to make sure we have one library open. Right click on here, create a new cell. New cell is going to be created in white inverters. INV1 is the name. We do not, we're not creating a layout right now. We are creating a schematic. Here we go. One thing that's very good to do is turn on the grid that's under window toggle grid or control G and at the moment we're gonna set our grid to a grid spacing of one this is the snap spacing when we put down components here we go put down a uh, PMOS transistor put down an NMOS transistor I'm left clicking left click click it down and uh, zoom in Hold down control, use the mouse a little bit. Now I want to connect the drain, uh, the two drains together and also the two gates together. I'm going to select this with the left mouse button. You see this right there? That's the port we're going to hook to. Hold down the right mouse button. Okay, we attached to the wrong, uh, wrong node. Hit the space bar, shift space. Uh, there's a shortcut key for doing that. So we want this one down here. We want the drain. See, we're hooked to the drain. And now if we go like this, we will not make the connection. This is a big point. Electric says we want to hook it to this port, but that port which is hooked to this device or this node. So we're making the arc go to the node. Make sure the node itself is highlighted. You can see uh, down in the bottom left corner of this window uh, the display changes makes a little noise and we're good same thing over here connect the two gate uh, exit out of that connect this that port okay we're doing good that down over connect great next we need ground node this is a spice simulation we're going to connect this to the source. This does not work. This does. Also, a we need a power supply connection. We learned that a long time ago. And it's connected. Two off page uh, off page nodes. That's our input. This is our output. Now we're going to wire the output to the output node. Select that wire the input to the gate. Next, we need to create exports for these for this cell. Click on the input, control E or edit. Pro no, uh, export, create export, that's what we want. Control E export name is in it has a characteristic this node it is not a clock it is an input and it is not bi-directional there we go I don't like this text here I'm gonna move it inside select the output node control E name it what we want it's not an input it is an output okay move the text so it looks uh, pretty another task this MOSFET, this PMOS transistor, it has a width of 2 and a length of 2. That's not what we want. We want to edit this. Uh, where did it go? Properties. We want to edit the object properties, or you can hit Control I. You will learn these shortcuts in not too long. Here's the width. We want that to be 4. Length is always 2. These 2. Uh, this is a unit in our scale. Our scale is 300 nanometers. So two units 
our two multiples of our scale, that's 600 nanometers. That is the minimum length of a transistor for this process. We try to make this, we go to the layout version, we'll get errors otherwise because it will be too small. Width of two, length of, uh, width of four, length of two. Okay, one thing is this easy to select that thing. That's okay for us. Sometimes we want to deselect that if we uh, if it gets annoying. Same thing for here for the NMOS. Control I, change the width to four. You can also select it there. Double click, and we bring it up. That might be a little faster for the transistor properties. So these are both four and four. The 4.0 is weird. Change it to four and two. Just integers, easier to look at, and we only use integers for the sizing, multiples of the minimum. Finally, we need to make an icon for this. We do that by view, make icon view. So we have a cell, each cell has multiple views. We are currently on the schematic view. Make an icon view. These exports have to be done first. If the exports are done, we have an automatic symbol generator and it's really nice. Go to the Explorer, open this up. Now the INV1, INV1, is a cell with two views, schematic view and IC, which is icon, not integrated circuit. Uh, also conveniently, when in the schematic view, the icon shows up here in the corner as a cell within a cell. Uh, this does not look like an inverter. It works fine from the software point of view, but I want it to look like an inverter. We can go down the hierarchy from here, have this cell selected, select D, keyboard shortcut D, or you could say uh, window, uh, where is it, edit, cell, cell, down hierarchy, down hierarchy, three different ways to do it, down hierarchy, in place, and uh, D, there's different ways of doing this. You see that? Now everything grays out. We can just uh, edit this. Let's do U, Control U to come up. We'll open the, the icon directly. I want to change this to a triangle. This is a polygon. It is a opened, thicker polygon. We want to edit this thing, so we say edit, modes, edit, we want toggle outline edit. We want to edit the outline. Shortcut Y. That is also this right here. Fancy drawing right there. Click on that and we're good to go. That's outline edit mode. Let's make this a triangle. There we go. Go back to Select mode, move INV1 over there. Now we're going to take this whole node, the name, the node, move it over. We're going to make some space for a circle. Component, circle. That's a huge circle. Control I. We want it to be one by one. That would be the diameter. It's one diameter. We want to move it over, but we want to move it over a half a grid. Half a grid, change our grid spacing, our snap spacing. This changed to a 0.5, our snap spacing changed, but the view grid did not. Now we can grab it and drag it over a half. Put our grid spacing back to one, so everything is uh, nice. Make these outs. Uh, they didn't work. Move the text, make this a little shorter, up, text over here, and there. All right, INV1, here's our inverter, our symbol, control S to save this. Whoops, we are saving the library. Didn't do that before, so this is uh, not good. ECE 429, test, white, inverters, JE lib. This is one file. Everything that's under this hierarchy is in one file. Currently, it's just one cell, two views. Here's our schematic view, and we're done. Next, we want to create a new cell. 
I'm going to call this test INV. Maybe a test INV1. Okay, so we are open up another schematic cell. This time we're going to add a cell, our INV cell to this. Select it. Okay. Uh, select it here, control C. Deselect, control V. Deselect, control V. Chain of three inverters. Wire these together using the right mouse button. We have the exports connected here already. Select, drag, connect. Makes a little noise. Select, drag, connect. Makes a noise. That's good. F5, two errors and zero warnings. Let's check what they are. Type uh, greater and less to step through the errors or open the error window. I'm just going to do greater or less. Our two errors were right here. Oh my goodness, it says wire pin touches arc but does not connect to it. That's not good. Let's try it again. Delete it. Select, drag, connect. I think that works. And we see a little dot there. Control S. It's great. Close this. Try it again. F5 is our tools. Design rule check. Check hierarchically. Now we have no errors found. That's the situation we want. Next, we want to add a uh, input to this uh, situation. We say, okay, spice, and we want a pulse. Pulse, and we need a ground node up to here. Zoom in, hit control, and uh, roll the scroll wheel, uh, the mouse wheel. Also, uh, using the middle mouse button uh, drags around. Very convenient. Select, wire. I heard the noise, that's good. Select, wire. Heard the noise, that's what I want. Control I for this thing. Well, we want to change all the parameters for this. Edit parameters is what we really want. Current wire sparse. There it is. So we want a zero delay time, a fall time of 200 picoseconds. That's fine. Rise time of 200 picoseconds. That's fine. I think we'll find out later. Initial voltage. It goes from a zero. To a one DC voltage. We're going to go to a five. That's our power supply. And then the pulse width, 3 nanoseconds. We'll try that default rise time, fall time, pulse voltage. Actually, yeah. All right, so pulse voltage, 5 volts. It'll go from initial voltage to pulse voltage, 0 to 5, delay time, and so on. Look up spice uh, for this code to set this up. So we say done. Close that, close that. Now we're nearly done. So control S, please save it. And there we go. That's the end of this video. Next, we're going to simulate this and deal with.